Hi, this is Dr. Jim Fazone. I'm here with Gary Mattia, and you are in the principal's office. Hello, welcome. You are in the principal's office. I'm Dr. Jim Fazone, principal of the Sidefect Center. I'm here with Gary Mattia. He's principal of the Ossipink Center. And we have, as always, our producer and director, Nick Sikowski, and he's going to help us throughout the show, as he always does. This week, we want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we can do around the house uh, because we can't go to ball games. Really, uh, we can't go to the movie theaters are closed. Uh, if you were thinking about going to Broadway, that's closed down. Uh, but there are a lot of things I think that we can do uh, that maybe we overlook. Uh, one thing I kind of remember when I was a kid, I loved playing board games. I loved when my parents played board games with me and I had a younger brother. He liked playing the app of baseball we used to have back then. Uh, and again, none of these things really had to do with computers. They had to do with people who were kind of together as a family, uh, and uh, we're pretty safe in our family setting. Uh, so, uh, what, Mr. Matea, is that anything you remember from uh, your well, childhood or things that we can do? Well, absolutely. Uh, you know, they, they were the times we got a, a, a chance to spend some you know, quality time with our parents, our siblings. And, I mean, as, as old as this game is and as, uh, as heard of as it is, one of our favorite family games was Monopoly. It was just a great game teach you about money, teach you about different things. We enjoyed uh, playing Monopoly and playing the games together. You know, you got laughs, you have some conversation. It was well worth the experience. And I really enjoyed uh, Monopoly a lot. Yeah, you know, I remember, uh, I used to like when uh, my parents would read to me. But one thing I really enjoyed, my dad used to just tell me stories about uh, Blackbeard the Pirate, and uh, he would tell me about there was a Redbeard the Pirate. I think he made that up. Uh, but there were a lot of uh, different stories uh, he would tell me with Superman, Batman, uh, and, and, and it, it was just a, a fun kind of thing. So I think uh, sometimes we forget that uh, when we're in our house, it's a great chance to talk with each other, family members, uh, to tell each other uh, what happened maybe during the day, uh, and to, to talk about life in general. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, what other uh, tips can we give? Uh, I, I can think of a few things. Anything else you can think of, Mr. Matea, that we can well, tell our I, students to do? I think uh, what's important to realize here is uh, we're looking at that computer so much. I mean, with virtual instruction, we're looking at that computer, you know, six or seven hours a day. It's in our face. We need to get out of that and do some things with the family that we can enjoy. I know one thing we always used to do when I was a kid, and I think we could still do it safely. Uh, you know, my father would take us for, you know, the old drive, take a drive on a Saturday or a Sunday, and we drive up River Road at this time of the year and look at all the different colored leaves and whatnot. And, uh, again, you have a chance to talk. It's something different to do. You know, you can breathe some fresh air, get you away from that computer, and get you doing something uh uh, a little bit more exciting, I think. Keeps you moving and active. Yeah, you know what I used to like, too, sometimes, because we only had the one car uh, back in the 60s. Everybody had one car. You thought you had a lot of cars. Uh, now everybody has, they have three cars. They don't think they have enough. Uh, but we, we'd go for a walk. My mom would take me out. We'd go for a walk in the neighborhood. She, uh, maybe the leaves are changing. She'd point out the, the nice colors of the leaves. Uh, we were told, you know, hey, this is an acorn. Uh, you know, look at some of the different animals uh, uh, that are out there, maybe a hawk, different types of birds, uh, squirrels, and just, uh, uh, you know, t t take a walk and look at the neighborhood. And uh, I think you can find some interesting things, but you're getting fresh air. You can put the mask on. You don't use social distance. Uh, and it's uh, a, a nice, uh, I remember the American Heart Association said that a 15-minute walk, uh, as well as the American Psychological Association, so the 15 minute walk is almost better than any medication that they have. So go for a nice 15, 20 minute walk, come back in and uh, maybe think of some other things to do. Yeah. And if you're involved in sports and a lot of the sports I know uh, have started at high schools, but may not uh, have the club sports up and starting, but you know, go out back. Uh, it's the end of baseball. It's the playoffs, toss the baseball around with your uh, sibling or your dad or your mom and, uh, Check out kicking a soccer ball around, uh, you know, toss a football. Do some things that keep you busy uh, and uh, away from staring at that computer and, you know, the, the video games. I mean, those video games that are out, let's face it, they're unbelievable if you look at them. They're so realistic. But get out there and, you know, breathe the fresh air, 
and enjoy some time uh, just observing the things that are around you. I think that's really important to do. I think we touched on some nice things, and I think uh, maybe uh, some of the students and parents, after they watch the show, maybe they can give us some suggestions as to what they do. Uh, maybe some cooking, uh, maybe some baking, uh, painting pictures, drawing pictures. Uh, a lot of things you can do, I think. So uh, uh, I hope everybody's staying safe, and uh, we'll have some interesting news probably next week uh, about school. But in the meantime, uh, I guess we want to make sure that our students are staying in touch with their teachers and they're completing their assignments and uh, letting everyone know if they're having any problems. That sounds great, Dr. Frizone. Sounds great. Do we have, do we have anything else for the show today? Uh, or does that sound like a wrap? I think that's a wrap. Okay. So for Gary, Nick, myself, we will see you next week in the principal's office. Bye-bye.